police were very in interested in what they were doing there for a sec. I don't know why. There are a lot of stolen bike for Fuck's sake. Good morning, Manchester. Morning, everyone. It's uh, Monday, the 4th of January. Welcome to Oldham. Like many other satellite towns of Manchester in the Industrial Revolution, 1700s, 1800s, and going into the up until the mid 1900s, 20th century. There was a lot of money, there's a lot of uh, powerful industrialists, there's a lot of work. And behind me, you've got the Lyceum, it's a theater, and uh, it's got a science and art uh, engraving right there. And again, this classical traditional architecture is not, you're not too far from it. I mean, there's some pillars over there. And again, I, I call them the four horsemen of the greater, the northern, northern Manchester satellite towns. You've got Bolton, Berry, Rochdale, and here, Oldham. And uh, there's something quite um, disconcerting about uh, watching a place that is trying to be a city. I mean, we were in Rochdale yesterday, they've renovated it. But really, what they should do is just, I guess, just turn it all into beautiful botanical gardens and just improve the transport links to central Manchester. I mean, you're not going to get people excited to live in Oldham. He he ho he, he he ho he, he he ho ho ha he ho, he he ho ho ha he ho. Anyone remember in the 80s a bit of Baby Sham drinking that uh, little blue bottle of Baby Sham? And uh, let me try and do a little reveal here. I don't know what the hell is this uh, Baby Sham deer doing here, but we're outside TJ Hughes now. I don't know if this shop is still open or if it's gone bust, but they've not replaced that ridiculous signage since the late 70s. Remember what we were saying about uh, TJ Hughes behind us? I think I got it right. It's gone. And let's have a look at the liminal space that is the former. Oh, there you go. <laughs> look at that. Doesn't that remind you of the 20th century? I appear to be in some sort of high street here. There's these weird ass deers everywhere. This one's obviously, what's his name? Rudy, Julie, no, Rudolf. And there was a gay one down by the town hall. Look at this friendly little doggy. Can I film the doggy? Is that all right? Hello, look at that, the love. Why can't people be as nice as dogs? Look at this, look at this random doggy. It's a good doggy. Here's a good doggy. Take care, thank you. Look at that. How nice are doggos? Look at that doggy. Oh. So yeah, we're in, uh, not, I've not been to Oldham for about seven years, just like Rochdale. When I first moved here in the first year or so, I was interested in going to all these uh, godforsaken places. Look, I'm sure there's nice areas here. Or actually, maybe someone from Oldham can actually prove me wrong and say, no, actually, Charlie, there are no nice areas here. But we'll do it live. I'm not going to edit this down. We're going to do a little walk around H Hilton Arcade. Look at that, quite posh. So posh with the pound land. You've got your town square. Yeah, 1991. And again, you... Are you not a sheep? You promise? Can I film you? Are you not a sheep? Mate, I tell you what, I'll admit something, even with my viewers. I sometimes put the mask on just to stop the grannies getting scared, you know. Yeah, exactly. Take care, man. Cheers. So, there you go. You know what? I'm getting, you know, they all remind me of each other. Bolton, Berry, Rochdale, and all them. And that's a two-minute walk around the immediate center. We'll get around this corner. And then I think we're done. We'll, we'll go end it on Santa, if he's in his sleigh. Oh God, they've not decapitated Santa, have they? Now, that 
I can't end, I can't end a two minute segment with a yeah I'm gonna have to do it they've decapitated Santa guys ho 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 as I said sometimes I wear this just to stop the grannies freaking out anyway Abandoned malls, it's it's the big story, isn't it? 2020, 2021, it's, uh, you know, in the future, when we're um, running through the wastelands, trying to source uh, supermarkets that haven't been raided and finding canned food that uh, isn't too long past its sell-by date, I reckon all these abandoned malls will make a, they're good sites to rebuild because they're indoors, they're big, I'll stop ranting now. Not that we're allowed in, but here at the town hall, the old town hall, we have an Egyptian room, which has been restored to its former glory. Now, it's in there. This is uh, the glass extension to the old town hall. And it's just a pity because I love that turn of the 20th century obsession with Egypt. It made a difference from ancient Greece pillars are a bit different you got your cats and owls and all sorts and sphinxes so let me the hell in I want to go hang out in the Egyptian room there in the distance going towards the hills you have a Muslim mosque now there's a culture that believes in the future very optimistic you might not agree with many of their uh, energies or uh, dogmas but they believe in children they believe in looking after their own elderly family members. They believe in family. Now, coming back into where I am, in the immediacy here of um, Oldham, I love this. It's engraved at the very top. And you come here, it's free public library and art gallery. Look how faded this little whippet or greyhound is. Look at, look at this. Look at this. They used to build these massive buildings, and they were certainly even more impressive back in the 1700s and 1800s. I'd say this one's 1800s. But again, free, free to tell the public, even if you're poor, you can come in. And I love the engraving, the symbolism here. Obviously that's taking place in some sort of library. You've got the children behind the monarch, king or queen. And you have a bowing monk, Jesus type scribe going together with the monarch, reading whilst the monarch protects the children, which I guess means us, we're the kids, behind with some education. So it's a nice scene. Library, bank, United Reformed Church. Eh, don't know what that even means. United Reformed Church. Let's have a reformation. And we're going to head down to the Oldham Gallery. Let's see if it's open. Of course it's not open. We're in Tears for Fears number four. We're going to talk about the pandemic in a minute, but let's just get my uh, architectural uh, ranty tour out of the way. Look at that. That's the side of the free public library. Oh, you've got... Wait, let's, let, me, let me zoom in and get these guys. You've got Raffaele. Handel. Shit, where's the zooming in? There he is, Mozart. Milton, John Milton, The Paradise Lost. Dante. And the last one, can I make it out? Uh, no, I can't. Anyway, there's the last one that's uh, Kurt, Kur see something. It was actually Dr. Johnson who said, Sometimes you have to act like an animal to escape the pain of being a man. And off the end of Johnson, you've got your sky bridge going into Oldham Council. Sorry, that just says Oldham Council. Doesn't that remind you of the Turkish um, charm to protect you from the all-seeing eye? Anyway, Oldham Library, Oldham Gallery, Oldham good stuff. And again, it's housed in what looks to be some sort of a multi-story airport car park. Right, let's not get started about modern architecture. Just very briefly, uh, Great Britain is, uh, let's take this little funny thing off. Let's just accept the fact I am effing bald. But I saw a guy yesterday. He was way bolder than I was. And he, he was 
had a spiky, cool haircut regardless, as if he was ignoring the bald. So I'm just going to ignore the bald. I think if I were to shave it all off, I'd be like, oh, I'm insecure. I want to look cool. Coming back to the pandemic, Britain is experiencing 53, 54,000 new infections a day. Those are the ones that they catch. Um, we're about 500, 600 dead a day. And the opposition Labour Party, Keir Starmer, what kind of name is Keir Starmer? He's got a funny little haircut as well. Anyway, he's saying, ah, we need a full England lockdown. And because we're now on this more virulent evil strain, the pathogenicity is stronger. We're probably going to go back into the proper quarantine like we did in March and April, where the only people you see out on the street are people like me or crackheads. Ah, uh, you know, I'm I'm actually bored. You know, like Brexit. You remember Brexit got done at eleven o'clock on December the thirty first, and then we woke up and it's like, nah, 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 nah. Britannia rules the waves. How boring did Brexit get, guys? I'm going to remember to look in the lens. There's that one guy that comments, why are you looking over my shoulder? How boring did Brexit get? Well, the bug is boring now. And, you know, when something major comes on the scene, everyone's like, woo! Charlie Veach is like, woo! Everyone's like, ah! And I'm like, woo! They're not telling us how bad it really is. And then I went to like, oh, it's uh, not as bad as they're pretending it is. But now I've settled somewhere in the middle where, yeah, it's it's a bad seasonal flu, and it can, um, you know, uh, you know what I'm angry at? I'm angry at myself because um, I've been trying to get all my videos monetized, and the big one I did yesterday called Curb Your Berg, I was like, no, Charlie, no, no, you just you just speak freely. And you got to earn your money some other way. You're not going to make money ad revenue. If, if like, you're going to fucking shill fucking Dorito chips and Pepsi and say, I'm Charlie fighting the evil system by making sure that my behavior and my language and the things I talk about comply with the Google AdSense fucking corporate censor. No. What I was going to say is, um, I was going to say, SARS NCOV 2 quite clearly is a bad respiratory disease and it quite clearly fucks a lot of grannies not as many as Wayne Rooney but it fucks the grannies and the granddads so I wear where is it no is it you know out of respect for the grannies because like come on now my poor mother my poor mother and she's got underlying health conditions she's in her mid 70s it's got to the point now where I'm even scared to go back to Scotland in case I give my mum the bug the COVIDs. So at the moment, I'm in limbo. Homeless hotel bum in limbo.